Let's call it the push and preen, an unforgettable moment from the NATO summit. Who does that? As one headline put it, Montenegro prime minister got between Donald Trump and Hello. camera. Look at this guy, wow. <laughs> but not everyone was yeah, laughing and feeling. cringing. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this is one of the most embarrassing moments. They don't see it that way. They refers to a focus group of Trump voters that Frank Luntz recently tested for CBS. Look what they do with their dials when shown the shove. Brushing by the prime minister of Montenegro. Hold it. The approval level shoots up. What the hell? It's great. Total strength. Because he's, we he's love it. We're America. We're rude? No. No, no we weren't rude. rude. We're that's dominant. Rude. They've yeah. been rude for years, sucking us dry. It's our party. Yeah, it was a... It, it, we paid for this party. Yes, we did. After eight years, he made America great again on the world stage. Making America great sure grated on a lot of nerves back when the video went viral. You tiny, tiny, tiny little man, author J.K. Rowling tweeted at President Trump. Someone obligingly shrank the president to fit Rowling's description. It was the shove that launched a thousand imitations. What a jerk. No, I don't. <laughs> Get out of the way, I got it. I got to adjust the jacket. Imitations by late night hosts. No. And impersonators. Oh, excuse me, get out of my room. When push comes to shove, some Trump voters didn't even consider it to be a shove or a push. I saw it as a maneuvering for position. Which of these three is not a comedian? Is he a president or a bridesmaid positioning <laughs> to catch the bouquet? That's the kind of shoving that belongs in the buffet line of Mar-a-Lago. He was just going to the front of the line where he belonged. To his voters, President Trump is no chicken. You act like they just called your number at KFC. <laughs> Me, that's mine, the 12-piece. Genimo, CNN, New York.